So I'll now uh, also, just in case it's helpful, give an example of a non-model, or I suppose we could call it a counter-model. Um, uh, looks like I erased something there, I'll get it later, but in any case, so I will again use the sentence P of A, but this time construct a counter model. So again, I will have a structure which has a universe, a denotation of the predicate P, a denotation of the constant term A. I will uh, then tell you what the universe is. I will actually choose the same universe as before, just the set of one, and I will um, choose the denotation of my predicate P yet again to be the set of, uh, uh, sorry, actually, no, I will uh, not, because I kind of hemmed, hedged myself in here, so I'll choose it to be the empty set, and uh, then I'll choose the denotation of the uh, constant term to be the number one. So, with the, now this is the full specification of the structure, right? I now know exactly what this structure is. And I ask the question, does this structure satisfy <clears throat> this sentence? And the answer is no, it does not. Why? Because the denotation of the constant term A is not included in the denotation of the predicate, which after all is the empty set. So in fact, uh, you know, as long as my uh, denotation is the empty set, then I could put any constant in here. Well, in this language and structure, I really only have one, but I could put, you know, if I had a bigger language, I could put any other constant in there, and it still would not satisfy. That's always the case when um, your, the denotation of your predicate is empty. So, in any case, uh, in particular here, the uh, structure does not satisfy the sentence, and therefore, this structure is a structure, but it is not a model, right? Models are structures that satisfy every sentence in the set. Uh, here, I take my set again to be just the set of this sentence. So there you have it. We've seen an example of a model, and we've seen an example of a non-model, or what we could call a counter model. Um, so that's, the, that's some definition there. Um, so we'll now talk about uh, uh, a theory, again, which is a set, just some set of sentences. We say that it's satisfiable if it has some model, right? That, you know, if you could come up with a, a structure that would satisfy everything in the set. Uh, that's a satisfiable uh, theory. Um,